Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a reading for Gemini. This is about the one that got away and who sees you as the one that got away. You can flip this energy if you wish, whatever resonates. Gemini, who feels you're the one that got away? Does Gemini need to know about the person who feels you're the one that got away? So I'm just gonna put these here and I'm gonna grab three overall energy cards. Who feels you are the one that got away? What is the overall energy? This person who feels you're the one that got away. Ooh, goddess of the moon. Someone else got this. Pisces cancer energy. This is someone who may have been a secret admirer, possibly. Okay, someone who had some feelings, maybe kept them to themselves. Ah, so there's been some kind of rest and rejuvenation, some kind of break. This is somebody who's finding that balance within themselves. So, wow. Who feels you're the one that got away? You could be just on a break from someone. Oh, yeah, there's a choice and a journey. Wow. Okay. I like this energy. And the reason why I like it is this, this is a journey. This is a choice. Okay. This is someone's life path. They're at that crossroads. They're about to make some kind of a choice here. Okay, this is someone who I feel has kept their feelings to themselves. Goddess of the moon. Could be a secret admirer. Could be somebody who is, you know, just uh, taking a break from love, sorting out their choices, their life paths, a little rest and rejuvenation, finding that inner balance. So Gemini, who feels you're the one that got away? Oh, yeah, you got someone... You, you have someone who wants to date you. They want to court you. And I feel like what happened is you had someone who was hiding their feelings. They were a little wishy-washy. Okay. So I do feel like this person's doing a little introspection. They're kind of on a break here. And I feel this is someone who needed to find that balance. So I do feel this. Oh, yeah. Some of you might even have a choice between several people. Um, but it could be one for some of you. This is someone who's planning something. They're taking their time. Looking at the details, someone's planning for success here, you see. And it's kind of going with the flow, but taking their time, yeah. So, I oh, I love this energy. This is a healing. This is letting go of past baggage, past relationship baggage. Someone's going to reach out. They actually do see you as a star, okay? This is someone who values you. They hold you in high regard. They're keeping it to themselves. But it's about two people, um valuing each other seeing each other's worth okay so i do see that energy beautiful yeah see someone had some negative energy negative thoughts all right some negative thinking uh, they were a bit wishy-washy they weren't so sure uh, i feel this is wow i, I feel this is someone who's really going to release that energy they're letting go it's some kind of baggage or trust issues uh, taurus virgo capricorn gemini yeah it looks like you've got someone here who um sees you as the one that got away this is someone grounded, practical, financially stable. They're kind of, you know, this is a person who, who needs balance in their life. Somebody who's going to take their time. Uh, and I feel it, they could have been wishy-washy in the past, unsure of their feelings, kept their feelings to themselves. They may have had some negative thoughts or trust issues. Oh, yeah. This is someone financially stable. Someone's letting go of something. This is someone I do feel kept to themselves. They held you in very high regard. Uh, they've seen your worth and your value. This is someone who could be very famous, okay, very well known. They get a lot of attention, uh, very financially stable. Ooh. You may have worked together in the same building. This is a place where people spend money, where they congregate. It's social, but it's about money. It's about stability. Uh, it's also about family. It's about two people who look out for each other's best interests, two people who value each other. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this person had some negative thinking, uh, some trust issues to do with finances. Okay, this is somebody who is working. This could be someone who is now ready uh, to commit, all right? But they're looking at that energy. They're looking. They're making some kind of plans, planning for success. Maybe they weren't successful. Maybe they weren't ready. Uh, I do feel there was some trust issues. I don't know whether they didn't trust themselves or yourself, but it's negative thinking. Okay, wishy-washy, not being sure. Yeah, this is someone who may have been a bit of a free spirit, but I do feel there's someone who um, has negative energy. They may be always chased. They're very popular because they're financially stable. So someone's always chasing this person. But I feel this person's never really had a successful relationship. I feel they're at a crossroads. 
this person's at a crossroads they may have chosen another person that's possible uh looks like this person sees you as some you know they have some regrets uh, remorse unfounded fears you see this person hasn't had a stable relationship i feel uh there's someone who you know they get chased they're successful they get a lot of attention uh, and they have some regrets but i think it's unfounded fears and i do think this person is kind of uh, going through a healing energy they're sort of uh, pulling back taking a little bit of a break here kind of thinking about things yeah so we see that this is someone who may have had a lot of options a lot of possibilities so they're about to make a choice i feel this person was a bit confused may have had a lot of person people chasing them okay you see or maybe they felt that you were chasing them because they had uh have money uh, which i feel isn't the case i actually feel this person I, I think they just have trust issues because people chase them because they're successful. Okay, so but look at that regret. See, unfounded fears. Uh, this person hasn't had a successful relationship. Uh, I feel that there's definitely some confusion. I think this person's fantasizing, kind of looking at the possibilities. They now see the possibilities, you see. Uh, there's a healing energy here, though. This is someone who's letting go of some uh, trust issues, baggage, things that no longer serve them. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, a little Sagittarius energy. Some of you may have moved away from this person. Okay. Yeah. But I think this person gets chased and I think they have regrets. They didn't trust you. They felt maybe you were chasing them for the wrong reasons. But they're now looking at, there's a lot of emotional energy with this person. You see unfounded fears confusion they're now looking at all the possibilities the option they may have had a lot of options uh, they may have picked the wrong person and now they're regretting it yeah so i see a gemini there you are manifesting yeah look at that energy you have all the tools you need you may have tried to manifest this person okay and they may have not trusted you so yeah they definitely have trust issues and i do feel that they're letting this go I see some Aquarius energy here as well. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Oops. Yeah. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I do feel there's some air energy. This person's doing a lot of thinking. Okay. They're thinking about you, manifesting, seeing this energy. This is someone who's a manifester. They're capable of manifesting money. They may have felt you were manipulating them and they had unfounded fears. They regret this. They see the possibilities. I feel this person was very confused. Maybe they felt you were chasing other people or giving your attention to other people. Uh, wow. Yeah, see, they are there. This is this person's healing and releasing something, getting out of their head. Uh, I feel wow. I mean, really wow. This person's in their feelings. They're in their emotions. They're thinking about a fresh new start. They're seeing things different here. So they definitely see you as the one that got away. Very much in their head. Very logical. This is someone who thinks with their head. Okay, and I do feel like you mirror each other in some ways. Okay. Uh, you're both manifestors you're both very capable having all the tools and they're now thinking that you are someone who has everything that they needed so wow yeah see this is someone here who had trust issues uh, they may have a lot of people chasing them they may have had other options you know maybe they just kept their options open but i actually feel this person's pulling back uh, and i feel yeah there's definitely may have been some gossip some things going on uh, they may have had people telling them things but they're, they see that energy. They're letting go. They're ready for this fresh new start. I feel that cup runneth over with emotions. They feel very emotion, emotional when they think about you. Uh, they definitely regret their thoughts, not trusting. Yeah, see, I say they have their regret. They regret their thoughts and not trusting. Actually, it goes here. Wow. Unfounded fears. They know it too. Uh, this person sees, you know, they didn't trust you, but yet uh, I feel like you travel in the same social circle. There may have been people saying things to this person, but I actually feel like it's positive that people actually see your worth and your value. Okay, there. I think people speak very positive about you. So they're starting to look at this. I feel you maybe traveled in the same social circle. So yeah, they have some kind of regret here, I feel. Uh, maybe somebody was gossiping saying negative things but i actually feel it's like there's two sides to that because uh, i do see that other people see your worth and your value you know 
And uh, maybe that's the thing. Maybe they felt you had other options, you know, that if they, because I, I feel they see you as this magician, someone who has all the tools, very capable, very wise, very bright, emotionally available. You have all the tools. You have actually everything this person needed. I feel the, there's a bit of mirroring going on here. You mirror each other in some ways. Some of you have a couple people too. I can see the possibility you have a couple people who actually feel you're the one that got away. You actually may have another uh, Gemini, uh, Libra or Aquarius energy around you. So <laughs> yeah, you may have a couple people who are having some regrets, but I feel like the main person is this Taurus Virgo Capricorn Someone financially stable, slower moving. Yeah, so aha, there's that aha moment, that truth. See, somebody now sees that aha. They're getting something. They're having this realization that you were actually had their best interest. You were stable, reliable, practical. You were there for this person. So I feel there definitely was some kind of a connection uh, to do with this. This is someone who kept their feelings to themselves. They may have felt you were keeping secrets or, you know, but this is the goddess of the moon, you know. It's emotional energy. It's secrets. This person may have um, kept their feelings to themselves or felt you were. But I feel this person is having that seeing the truth. They're seeing here. You had their best intentions. You were there for this person possibly at times as well. Ah, uh, yeah. See, they regret. They Negative thinking. They're seeing the truth. They weren't focused on the uh, you and them. They might have been focused on the past relationship or some gossip, something they heard, okay? And they regret this because I feel uh, they're seeing the truth, okay? They, they see there's positive energy. There's some kind of good news, something that's happening with this person that they're regretting. They kind of felt like there was no hope, you see? Um, maybe that maybe they felt that someone may have said that you weren't interested in them or vice versa. So there may have been a little manipulation. Someone may have manipulated something here. Whoops. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. This person gets chased a lot because they're successful. I don't feel, I feel this person hasn't had a successful relationship. I feel it's, you know, they, they are a bit of a free spirit, but I feel this is someone who, um, hasn't had a successful relationship. They've had a lot of false victories and they have some regret. Uh, there, this person sees you as someone who's moving on, kind of setting yourself free. Yeah, see, there's trust issues. They have some regrets here. Negative thinking. They were thinking negatively, felt you were chasing them for the wrong reasons, but they're seeing things different. <clears throat> wow, Gemini. Tell me about the regret. Unfounded see. This person didn't have the clarity. They didn't have the whole story or the truth. They may regret not telling you the truth, keeping. They may have had other options as well. They may have had other people chasing them now, this person i feel feels you weren't telling them everything you were keeping secrets or hiding something from them but they're now looking at this this person's in their feelings i feel in a, in a very big way um, it's possible they have regrets too they didn't tell you okay something there may have been some kind of deception or dishonesty uh, but i feel mostly this person feels you were chasing them you know for the wrong reasons and they actually do see that you had their best interests It's a lack of clarity. This person shining a light on this, seeing the possibilities. Ah, there you are. This person knows you want the truth. They know you were telling the truth. They know now. You were communicating very clearly. They weren't being clear. They were the one. So I do feel they feel they were a bit of the problem. Uh, maybe they did have other options and they weren't telling you or they were just confused. Uh, but I feel as that you're cutting to the chase. They see you as speaking the truth. They're looking at that energy, you see. They held back. They didn't tell you their fears. They regret this. They have a lot of regrets. It was unfounded fears. So they held something back from you. I do feel they want to come towards you and speak to you. I feel, yeah, if you've been on a break from this person, I feel like they're in that energy. They're just kind of grounding themselves, you know, uh, rest and rejuvenation. I feel like they're not dating anybody right now. They're just kind of pulling back. It's a healing energy. It's about finding that balance within themselves. See, they didn't see this. They regret this negative energy. Felt like there was no hope. You know, maybe they felt that, you know, you didn't feel the same way. It's very possible too. But for most of you, I think this person sees you had their best interest. Yeah. 
somebody with some major trust issues. I can see it twice. I feel like you may have not trusted this person a little bit too. And I feel you both may have some kind of regrets here uh, or just both had unfounded fears towards each other. There's, But I, they do see you as someone who spoke the truth. Uh, they see that now. Oh, yeah. You had feelings. They see you as someone who had feelings for them. Uh, yeah, look at that. You were looking at the possibilities. You were trying to learn about this person, maybe question them because you've seen the possibilities of a future. So this is a choice, you see. Uh, this is a life path. This person's now at a crossroads. This person might have been worried that you had other options as well, that you were keeping things from them. But I feel like they see the truth. You were questioning them, talking to them because you've seen the possibilities of love. Um, you had emotional energy. Um, I don't think this person really shared their feelings with you and they regret it, you see. They kept the secret, kept things hidden, their feelings, their emotions. Goddess of the moon. Yeah, see, this person, they, I think this person knew uh, within themselves you may have been the one. Look at that energy. They want this passion, a new beginning, but you see, that's that energy, that fear. Fear you may have moved on, or that you may have other people, other options. Um, you may be exploring other options, but look at that energy. See, this person knows now. They regret not focusing, not sharing their feelings, not being honest and open and speaking the truth about their fears. Uh, they may have heard gossip. Maybe somebody said something, but I actually feel there's more positive. Maybe they didn't get the information. Maybe there's someone here who said something. They regret listening. Um, okay, they may have seen something as the truth that wasn't. Yeah, see, they let you walk away or they walked away from you. This person's looking for you. They feel like you're the one that got away after a period of introspection, a little pause, finding that balance, you know, it's a healing. Wow. Yeah, this person's definitely, see, they know they need to free themselves. They need to heal. They need to release those trust issues. It doesn't serve them. It never served a purpose to begin with. Uh, they're up in their head. They definitely have some air in their chart, some earth in their chart. Um, wow. Tell me about this journey for Gemini. Yeah, this person's now there. This person's missing you. They're reminiscing. Um, wow. It's a melancholy. This person's pining for you. They're thinking about you, but I feel they have regrets here. We're not telling you something. We're not seeing things clearly, seeing the truth that you were speaking the truth. You actually had feelings for this person. You were being kind and compassionate. You were there for this person. See, they failed to see uh, something here that you communicated. I feel as though if this person does come, you do want the truth. Okay, nothing but, oh yeah, they see you as the empress. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, they're looking at, they're shining that little light, looking for the clarity. This person was using, you know, they were in their head. They were being very logical, okay? Uh, they see you that way too, very logical, but they see you as a manifester. This person thought you were manipulating them. They thought you were um, being wishy-washy, you know, just sort of maybe wanted to be friends or something. I don't know, but I feel like you were there for this person. They're seeing the truth. They regret this. There's melancholy. They're pining, you know. They're reminiscing and thinking about the path, the choices that they've made in the past. I feel this person hasn't had a successful relationship that's gone the distance. You know, they do think about you, most definitely. Yeah, king and queen of pentacles. Yeah, see, this person sees you. You know, I think this person wonders if you think about them, uh, if you miss them. They see you as the empress, loving, nurturing, caring. You know, you, you, you're the full package. You have all the tools. You were manifesting them because you actually had feelings. You've seen the possibilities of a future. Maybe having children together. Okay. They see you as practical, reliable, marriage material. They, they now see you as the one. Now, I think they always did. But I feel they, they had some, some, yeah, see, as a healing. They held back. They got into their head. I don't know if this person had healed from a relationship. Maybe they, um, it's quite possible this person had ended something or they hadn't completely healed. They weren't quite ready, but they see your worth and your value. They see you as, you know, treating with respect and kindness. 
you know, compassionate. You were there for this person. You were stable. You were reliable. They could rely on you, but they weren't reliable. Feel something that happened. Somebody said something and that they seen it for the truth and it wasn't reliable and they regret it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> So what happens when people have trust issues or baggage, you know, and they need to free themselves from that energy to be able to move forward. They're planning something. They're planning to have success. They're not 100% sure if this is going to work, if you're going to uh, feel the same, okay, but if you're going to reciprocate. I do feel like, you know, they wonder. This person wonders. They're curious. They wonder if you're missing them. See, there's that crossroads, that choice. They want to approach you. Uh -huh. Yeah, see, they were indecisive. They failed to see. They failed to recognize. You see, they had the blindfold on. They were indecisive uh, because of trust issues. But they actually see now they could trust you. Um, they see the truth. So, yeah, you're the one that got away, Gemini. <clears throat> wow, yeah, this person's at a crossroads. They want to approach you. They're wondering if, you're, if you feel the same way, okay, if you still have feelings. You're missing them. This person sees you as someone who did sweet things for them and did nice things, said nice things, maybe gave them little gifts, little things, okay? Um, and they failed to recognize, to see that energy. Ah. Let's see what the outcome of this is, Gemini. Sorry the cards are crooked. My camera shifted again. I hate it when they're crooked. Right, Gemini the outcome of this situation yeah see this is back and forth this person's back and forth they're trying to make a decision unable to decide whether they should reach out and uh it could be yourself as well you know feeling but i i see it as them in their head thinking gaining that clarity their feelings you know that cup runneth over they kept their feelings to themselves they did want something with you so back and forth, this is this person's intentions. They're not sure. You see, yeah, see their intuition. They're hiding their feelings, their emotions. They are very aware. They hide their feelings from themselves. This is someone who needs to face their fears. Okay, they need to heal. They need to release. They need to get out of their head. They need to get that negative energy out of their head. No, too much negative thinking, you know. Somebody who just spends more time thinking than actually doing at times. Mm hmm. So uh, this person, they may felt you had bad intentions, but you actually had good intentions. Uh, so see, this is where they were back and forth. They, you know, they couldn't see that. Look at oh yeah, this is the angel of four directions. This is a this is a spiritual connection. This is a uh, protection. Okay, this is protected. Uh, wow. Somebody was protecting their feelings here too, you know. Maybe they were protecting you as well. They Maybe they were indecisive. There's something they needed to be clear. But I feel it was a lack of proper communication, clear communication to do with that truth. This person always knew the truth and they regret it. They seen you as not reliable, okay, someone they couldn't rely on. And I do think there was gossip or something said, something within the community or you travel in the same social circle. Uh, they regret something here. They may have had other options too. They may have been indecisive and not sure, uh, but they do feel you are the one that got away. They either let you walk away or they walked away. Now they're coming towards you. They're looking for you. They're searching their feelings. They were ignoring their feelings uh, because of negative energy. So yeah, happy home, happy life. See you. This wow. Yeah, they see you as the woman holding a coin, possibly, or they're in that energy, stable, practical marriage material. This person's fantasizing about being married with you. You may have seen yourself with this person, kind of hopeful, you know, kind of looking into the future, thinking about having children or having a family. Uh, it doesn't mean that there's necessarily children. This is melancholy. It's longing. This person's longing for you. They want to know if you still have feelings for them, if you've longed for them or if you've missed them. Now, this could be someone from a very long time ago as well you know, that was crushing and at a crossroads and they weren't really sure of their feelings. Uh, but I, I feel that you did a lot of sweet things possibly or said sweet things. So this person does want to approach you. They're at this crossroads. You both could be at a crossroads too. It's quite possible. Um, you both may have had some similar energy, a little mirroring energy, a little trust issues at the time uh, for whatever reason. 
It's a woman holding a coin, stable, reliable, practical, happy home, happy life. You see, they regret this. This person hasn't had a successful relationship. Uh, they may have actually uh, married somebody or got in a relationship with someone and now they're regretting it. They're seeing the truth that they have somebody here who may be holding on to them for money. Someone may have chased them for money. This person keeps doing the same thing. You know, they rush in. They, and someone gives them attention. They love it, right? They love that attention. Uh, but there's the trust. So they, are, they may have been in a relationship. They may even be in it now. It's hard to say. Uh, with someone they can't trust, it's holding on to them for money. Uh, but see, they're seeing you. Uh, this person failed to see, failed to recognize what they had. So yeah, you are the one that got away. Um, they are in a relationship with somebody now. I feel that they are doing a lot of thinking about moving on. Um, they're, they're learning something about planning for success. They may have been focused on their money as well. When you met this person, they may have been trying to manifest money, focusing on their success. Uh, they may have needed to heal and release something. Somebody else who, ma who, who manipulated them, you see. And someone who fails to see, they keep doing the same thing. Uh, they haven't had a relationship that was successful that's gone the distance. They've had a lot of uh, false, um, you know, uh, relationships. But they see it. They see the truth now, the aha moment. No. So there's a lot of sadness, I feel. So yeah, I do feel it's possible this person could approach you. Uh, I think this person felt you were hiding your feelings, your emotions, you see. Uh, but I feel it may have been some kind of fears or something. But I feel with their energy, I feel this person's intention. See, they didn't know what your intentions were. They failed to see that you were actually seeing a future with them. You were actually seeing the possibilities you know, they failed to recognize exactly what they had. They had the empress. They had the one all along. But I do think they needed to heal. I feel this person had something going on. Well, this feels like it was some time ago for some of you. I feel they connected with someone who thought was the one and actually isn't. And I feel they've done this a few times. So I do see a power couple here. This person, that's what they want is that power couple. They want that person, that partner. Someone who has their best interest and they see you like that. So I wish you guys the best. Take care and we'll see you soon.